Welcome to the Smart LED FX software training video, part three. Uh, in this third part of the FX software uh, training video, we're going to be looking at uh, how to add videos to your sign and also on scheduling uh, for your steps so you can have different messages showing up at different times. So here we have the base program that uh, that we had before with some text, some images, and uh, now we don't have any videos here, we just have images. So let's go ahead and uh, add a new step. So let's go ahead and program and make a new step. And we'll call this step, uh, call it videos. And here it is... Uh, very much similar uh, like an image step we're gonna click here we're gonna do file window but instead of it just being a regular file we're gonna be adding a video file now here here's where uh, it gets a little bit tricky because I'm gonna show you how to do uh, one full size video and I'm gonna show you how to do two half size videos if you wanna show uh, if you want to show two separate videos or two separate images we have to cover uh, multi windows also but to start uh, we're gonna do one full size video and uh, we're gonna click file list and then we're gonna go to uh, videos and here we have a Aflac commercial man I'm glad Aflac pays cash and then we're gonna click open uh, always click no audio because you're just gonna be uh, wasting uh, space on your uh, FX controllers uh, memory so we click no audio and uh, no need to copy the this uh, copy file to folder open and we click import and you can take uh, videos of any size and import them into the smart LED FX software card and there it is it'll automatically uh, resize and uh, configure the video for your sign and uh, here you have a couple of options you can do you can uh, click this one to add another video this to delete and loop to set how many times you want it to loop from two times to 99 times uh, we're gonna leave it at one uh, usually it will run the video uh, until you know it's finished and uh, it does have a frame which you can also remove if you want to remove the frame you can just click no uh, or if you want to have a different type of frame you can also add a different type of frame but uh, typically for images and for videos we recommend no frame and uh, if you want to take a look at how the whole message will look like then uh, you could just go ahead and press play And it'll show us how the whole uh, new message is going to show up, exactly how it will show up on the sign. And after this picture, it should step into the video. And you can load multiple videos in multiple steps. Uh, so you can have, you know, step one with uh, one video. Uh, and step two with a different video and now we're gonna go into scheduling so you can take a look at how you can get these uh, messages to show up at the expected times um, but before we go into scheduling let's go ahead and uh, stop the preview and uh, of course once it ends with the video it starts again from the beginning of the message so uh, now we're going to stop the preview and I want to go into double windows uh, because that's also very uh, very important so for example if you wanted to show uh, two separate videos on the same screen uh, or if you had a, two, a two-sided display uh, you would basically set it up like this first let's uh, add a step and uh, let's go ahead and add a file window and we're gonna make this file window exactly half so we have 176 
so we're going to be doing uh, maybe let's do 88 okay and you can also manually adjust it then always you have to set up the window before moving before importing the video so right here we're going to put uh, on the top we'll put the pizza hut uh, again, no audio and click import to import the video. And then now we're gonna, and now you can see the, the video showing on the top. So now we're gonna import the video on the bottom. And the way we're gonna do that is by making another file window. So we go ahead into here new window and we create another file window and in this file window we are gonna um, basically do the same thing but we are gonna put it because if you click here you can see it's up on the top we're gonna put this one on the bottom so we're gonna set this file window down at the bottom and now if you click instead of clicking on the individual steps if you click on this step right here uh, you can see that they're both both over here now if you overlay uh, the the if you put one box on top of the box when you try to send the program it will probably uh, send all the video and it won't look right so right now as you can see it's sending the video so it takes uh, longer than just a typical text or image and if it's a very long video it will take up to a minute now when you hear that sound, that means uh, the program is finished sending, so we already uploaded the video. But what I wanted to show you here is, uh, again, the independent videos. So we're going to put this one, and then over here, we're going to uh, add the previous commercial. Uh, let's see here. It seems that we're going to have to rename the file. So we're going to try to click open, then import. Okay, for sure, this this is going to have an error. So when you get an error, uh, you're going to want to cancel out of it. Okay, so we just recovered from that error. And it's good that that happened so you can see... Uh, exactly how the import process works if you're using a file that is uh, uh, improperly named or if it's just simply uh, not a not correctly named like in for example that one did not have an extension then you're gonna run into problems like that and it's uh, entirely uh, a formatting issue if you if you do run through a major uh, a hitch that you can't uh, close out of then make sure that you save your program and then uh, open it again because the FX software will uh, learn and it will also uh, try different codecs to import your files into your um, sign so right now we're okay uh, in fact let's go ahead and just delete it and uh, let's go ahead and import it again so we're gonna go ahead and click the yellow and then we're gonna go here to pre this is the car that loves to have fun and it's got click open and we're gonna click I uh, always click no audio and then uh, import and there you have it so uh, now we can see that uh, this is running okay the pizza hut running is okay we can click here and when we click this the preview the current program then we're gonna see both uh, both videos running uh, concurrently on the LED sign of course uh, we always suggest that if you can uh, get the videos you know done professionally by a designer or by an ad agency uh, it's going to be much better for the quality of the video. Here we're just using videos downloaded from YouTube. One of them, uh, for some reason, uh, downloaded incorrectly and uh, created a pro uh, problem, but now it's fine. So once you preview, 
there it is. And now if you were to send uh, this whole uh, uh, program, then we'll just click here to send to LED sign. And um, there it goes. And that's uh, with um, three videos. And then we hear the magic sound that shows us that everything is up is uploaded to the sign and uh, there you have it so basically this is the the way you you work with uh, videos and um, if you have any other questions uh, feel free to contact us support at smartledinc.com and uh, next video we're going to be uh, tackling the scheduler functions so uh, stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.